My name is Sean Rose, Deputy Director at Islamic Networks Group, ING, and today is Friday the 13th of November 2015. Earlier today we started hearing reports of terror attacks throughout the city of Paris in France, and as the afternoon has progressed, the numbers involved have grown, the number of attacks has grown, and the impact on the city the country of France and indeed the whole world has continued to grow. To share some reflections on today's happenings, I'm joined by Amina Jandali, founding member of ING, and Shakila Ahmed, an ING board member and affiliate director. Amina Jandali. Thank you, Sean. We are absolutely and utterly shocked and outraged by today's violence in Paris which has disrupted the lives of hundreds of citizens whose lives have been either taken or they've been wounded as they were enjoying a Friday evening uh, at the theater, eating dinner, or enjoying a soccer game. As you mentioned, this has impacted the entire city, nation, and the entire world. So we want to begin by just expressing our deepest condolences to the families and all those impacted by the horrific events today that are still ongoing. What is particularly egregious about these acts is the random senseless and widespread nature of these attacks, the seeming purpose of which is to target random people enjoying their lives merely for the purpose of striking fear, fomenting chaos, and creating a sense of insecurity. Such actions reflect an allegiance to anarchy and violence, rather to any cause, goal, or grievance. Shakila Ahmed. You know, as a mother, as a citizen of humanity, I couldn't say more strongly that it is the ultimate injustice to target and kill innocent people who have nothing to do with any political or other issues that the perpetrators, the heinous perpetrators, might be trying to highlight. All religions and ethical and moral systems therefore condemn such, such random violence and killing, including Islam, which clearly holds the killing of innocent people to the highest, you know, uh, sin that one can commit against fellow, fellow human beings. And we affirm, reiterate, and uphold the sanctity of human life, the taking of which is among the gravest of sins. You know, if it is the goal of the perpetrators to create chaos, enmity, and anti-Muslim sentiments, we believe that they have already failed as we witness the cooperation and love being displayed by, you know, Parisians. And I implore the rest of my fellow human beings and mothers in particular to show that love and that collaboration. As Shakila Ahmed says, one of the most heartening things that we've been hearing this afternoon amid such tragedy and such loss of life have been those stories of love, of service, and of support. We've been hearing about countless Parisians opening their doors to others who need safety and security today, as well as taxi drivers offering stranded people free rides home. So our thoughts, our prayers, and our best wishes are with the people of Paris, of France, and the rest of the world who are feeling the impact of this tragedy today. And we hope and pray that the perpetrators of these heinous acts will be quickly reprimanded and brought to justice. Thank you for being with us.